right, y'all. Here we go with another one. What we got is a 54 pound flathead. This is cast off of a real fig. And we do a lot of hand fishing and pole fishing for flathead around here. And it's a real fun one to paint. And I figured y'all would enjoy it. There's a lot of people like the last video. And we're going to do another one. And if y'all would, thumbs up my videos. That way it gets out to other people. YouTube will start pushing my content a little more. So if you do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. and Tell me if you like the videos. and We'll keep doing more. So let's get after it. All right, y'all, here we go. Step number one, chrome pearl, putting it on the belly section. We're gonna go up, oh, not quite halfway. All right, we got our chrome on. Now we're gonna do gold pearl across the top. On the side, all the way to the tail. All right, y'all. You probably can't see the gold or the chrome in the camera. But the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna put charcoal all over the top of this fish. We're gonna give him that Appaloosa look. And take this powdered charcoal and start that one. I know y'all are thinking that there's no way that this is going to look like a flag here. to show y'all the magic trick. Once you get all your dapples dappled, don't forget we're building layers. Is only one layer. You ready to see something cool? Now, we got our dark color started for our all black on our flathead. We just take a brush. Cut out what you don't like. Get rid of all the sharp edges. All 
right, you get all your dapples the way you want them. We're gonna take a silicone brush. You know how when you catch an old flathead and he wraps up in your line and it makes some marks all down him, we're gonna make some scars on this one. All we gotta do is take this brush and run it through this charcoal. like that. You get that step done, you're going to take clear gloss, walk it down. y'all now if it would stop raining we're gonna go on to what we're using now is a pan pastel which is powder paint we're gonna start adding some color into this fish Now we're going to take another color, yellow oxide. Put a different color variation in the same region. We'll go down the belly and the sides here a little more with that. Give you a different tone. Now we got hands of yellow, another shade of yellow. All right, y'all, this fish is fixing to come alive. We got our colors of yellow on here. We're gonna lock them down. Get y'all in here close so you can see. 
I know the colors are hard to show up on the camera. Now we're going to start putting some olive in this old flathead. We locked it. We did the pearls. We did the charcoal. We did three colors of yellow. Locked it down. Now we're going to add another layer. You want to see through this fish. You don't want to see. You want to see through this paint job you don't want to see at it you want to see through it just like a real fish you just build up layers over and over now we're going to add another color the olive We've only used the airbrush twice on this fish for two different colors, and that was the pearl colors. Everything else has been powder. We got our olives on now. We're gonna lock this down, let it dry. And we're gonna go back to the charcoal. more charcoal black across the back we're going to start making some shadows character out down in here on your back <laughs> all right now we're going to work on the fins
Well, y'all, here we are with another one. And then don't do like me and lose the pectoral fin. But other than that, this fish is pretty much done. I hope you enjoy this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.